Hi, I'm Luann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I am here with Nikolai Setzer. He is the head of the tire division. Pretty big title. So Nikolai, we have a concept here that I think is so cool. Explain it to us what happens with this tire. We call it Continental Adapt. And why Adapt? Because it changes over time, adapting to driving conditions, which you like to prefer. So for instance, to start with the first one, which is you the can, economy one. You can so see you're driving moving. on an interstate, you see that the rim is getting a bit smaller and the inflation pressure is quite high. You see it on the blue bars. So inflation pressure is up, which helps that the tire does not deflect, does not consume that much energy, and therefore has a very, very good rolling resistance. Now imagine there's somebody else in the car. I mean, stiffness has a price and you want to have it more comfortable. So then you change, and here you see you change again the rim size. The rim is getting more narrow. Inflation pressure is getting reduced. Oh, you see the difference in the blues. Difference in the blues. Yes. And you see as well a strong difference in the footprint. Now you drive very comfortable and um, you ride, cruise control is on 75 miles. However, all of a sudden, it's raining and you have to brake. So there, obviously, you need again less rolling resistance. Pressure, less rolling resistance. You want to destroy as much energy as you can in order to be ready right. to brake. Right. There might be an obstacle or a car in front of you which does an emergency brake. You want to be ready. That's where you change the setup. This and is such a cool idea. How long before you could bring this to market? I mean, we would say that takes at least 10 years. Um, because it dep you change so much the system. So you need hydraulics to change the rim. You need inflation pressure to change within a rotating system. This all depends how efficient technologies will be in the future in order to get this. But you've got something that's changing right now. We have something which we can come up with up now. And this is the electrification or the censoring of the tire. So you know we have tire pressure monitoring systems already existing. This is serial from us, the ready sensor, which is measuring temperature and um, the air pressure and transmitting this to the vehicle. However, we added some connectivity in the tire. So you see, this is a layer which is conductive. That's why you, you see, see the picture changing. Yes. Conductive. And we have a non-conductive layer in between. So what can you detect with this one? For instance, imagine you have a nail and we have for demonstration purposes a larger nail which is getting into your tire and so the tire still holds air, you want to know this. So you see it then on your module and you see it first on the camera yes. where you see the nail coming in and the module is telling you that's where you see the light. Um, it's telling you nail is getting in, nail is getting out and giving you the hint that you should change something. This will only be available on the new tires. The, uh, if you don't have all of the system integrated into your, to your vehicle, you won't be able to use this either? Um, most of it must be then, in, as long as the layer is an integ integral part of the tire, you need a new tire. You can add always sensors. This is okay. no problem, it's well organized. You put rubber in and the sensor in, but if you want to use the whole features, such as, for instance, the tread depth sensor, which is one of the most, I mean, everybody wants to know, without looking on your tire, what is our, my tread depth? And we simulated here with conductive rubber. So if you take one block out, now it says new. If you take it out, it says worn. And it tells you on your back and on your smartphone, your right. wife is driving and you know, oh, my tires are worn. And you right. get already a connective offer in order to get this changed. We can get rid of those pennies or dimes or whatever they were that you had to put in to make sure that you're, it was that thick so that you didn't have to get a new tire. Yeah, that, uh, that could <laughs> what be. What we used to do when we were kids. We yeah, were excellent, <laughs> yes. You regroove your tires. Yeah. Yeah. But once rubber is gone, you cannot regroove no, anymore. No, no. This was only just to show you how, how thick your tire yes. was. Exactly, yes. exactly. Well, Nikolai, thank you very much. Thank you.